Do you have to do something weird? <laughs> All right. Okay, this video is going to be about how we as first time home buyers made $100,000 almost. How we as first time almost. home buyers made $80,000 on our first house. So, four years ago, we bought this house for $73,000. And we are selling it this month for $167,000. After we pay off our first mortgage and our home equity loan, we will have $80,000 in our pocket. We looked at a lot of houses. Yeah. We looked at like uh, 400 houses in like six months. No, we looked at like 40 probably. And it really didn't matter to us if we got this or not. We liked it. I mean, let me take that back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chris liked it. Amanda did not like it at all. I was excited so when they accepted it accepted our offer of course i was excited because it was our first house and i knew that this would probably be where we we had our first child i was excited in the beginning and then when we got in i was like oh this thing's a piece of junk our oven <laughs> doesn't even work and oh like i'm kind of embarrassed i don't want to really invite my friends over you didn't have your, um, anybody over for like the first two years we lived here yeah, it was bad, okay? We used, like I said in our last video, his mom's toaster oven for the first two years. We cooked, I'm pretty sure we cooked like a ham in that thing at, at one point. <laughs> one thing I'll say is that I, at the beginning, was very hesitant to take a second mortgage on our home. Um, I knew that we had bought this for a good price and I knew we had equity in it because we got it for so cheap. But I knew, you know, if we take a, a second mortgage out, that's a second payment. And it's just more money that we have to pay when we sell our house. When we added everything up, we thought it's probably gonna take between between 20 and 25,000 to do everything and make it a livable and desirable place for someone. So we took a $20,000 home equity loan on it. If you don't know anything about home equity loans, um, you just, the payment, depending on how much you get, the payment is pretty small for the first, I think it's 10 years. And we knew we weren't gonna be here for that long and we could afford that extra payment. I am never someone to say, I think you should take out more debt, but everybody has a different situation. And so that's what worked for us. Yeah, and you're bar like you're borrowing against your own money. It's your money that you have invested in the house, really. And so you're borrowing against your own money. You're not borrowing someone else's money. It's just the money that you, right? Yeah, I mean, you are borrowing someone else's money, borrowing the bank's money. Well, but, sure, but yes, what you're saying makes sense. The first thing that we did with our house was, I don't even know, was it ripping out the carpet in the nursery? It was ripping out the carpet in the whole house. We did the living room, dining room. We, yeah. we split it. We did the dining room first. And then we left the living room. Of course, we painted first. That was like the first thing. Okay, because we had no we had no money when we moved in here, we did like the bare minimum that you could do that didn't cost any money. And with some houses, doing what we did at the very beginning, you could sell and make several thousand dollars just by cleaning up the house and making it not dingy and dark, and you know, making it inviting. Maybe cleaning up the outside. So all we did at the beginning was just painted. We painted everything um, a different color. The walls were green. Carpet was also green in some of the rooms. So we ripped up the carpet. That was free. We lived in it like that. So after we painted and ripped up the, wall, the flooring, we lived in it without really doing anything for like two years. I mean, we did little stuff. We yeah, did we like did. some electric stuff to make the garage functional, right? Yeah, we did some electric stuff out there. Uh, replace the outlets in the house. Anything. Replacing outlets is like very cheap. You do it yourself. It made me feel safer. Not necessarily yeah, ours a were safer. Like from the 30s, so they needed yeah. all redone. But our, our house is very old. Our house was built 32, 1932, and it looked like it, like it had the <laughs> 60s appliances when we moved in. And so there's a ba there's a bathroom in the basement that we we didn't do anything to even right now. We all we did was make sure that the, everything worked. the toilet everything worked, worked, the water and the shower, everything worked. Which we had to replace uh, after we sold the house, we had an inspection done and we had to replace, there was a line coming from that toilet that went back to the main drain that was cracked. There was a quarter inch crack all the way through it. We had the inspection done 
and one of the things was that thing in the basement. The first people we called to have it fixed was like four grand, wasn't it? The first one was four grand, and we called Rotor and they were ten thousand dollars. Then we called this company, and they were able to line the pipe. Uh, what we paid twelve hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred bucks is what it cost for the basement. That's all we did. Painted everything white. Painted the ceiling white and the walls white, and then we like took a what was that vacuum? A shop vac. A shop vac. Yeah, we just cleaned everything, painted the ceiling, painted the walls, and just kind of cleaned it all up and made it look bright. Yeah, so for our basement, I mean, it was very minimal. Because the house is so old, the basement gets wet from time to time, and so no one's probably ever going to finish that basement. So there's no sense in us dumping a bunch of money into it if it's not even going to be a space where people hang out. The kitchen is really where all of the most of our money went mm -hmm. and most of our time. We did the kitchen remodel with a baby very hard <laughs> yes <laughs> very difficult we went and stayed with my parents for uh, we were there for must have been a month yeah a little over a month yeah so we gutted everything good so it was all plaster there was nothing there thank the lord there was nothing left of that kitchen when he was finished yep so it was lath and plaster the whole house is lath and plaster so we had to tear all the lath and plaster to off of the studs the ceiling was a drop ceiling and then above that was more plaster. So we had to take the drop ceiling down and then all the plaster off the ceiling. And then, it, like I said, it was the 1930s wiring. Did the whole kitchen, so we did, all did that. We tore out all the wiring, all the plumbing, put all new back. There was only one circuit for three quarters of the house. It was right off one circuit of electricity. So we ran three or four new circuits in there, uh, put new can lighting in, redid the plumbing. The plumbing was a little bit screwed up, so we redid the plumbing. Insulated, there was no insulation in any of the walls, uh, the outside wall. So we re-insulated uh, and then put drywall back. We did get some help um, from, uh, you know, from his brothers and a couple, a couple friends, other yeah. friends and some family to when we did the tearing out part because there was just it's a lot for one person to do it, but you can do it with one person. It's just I wanted it to be done as soon as we could, so we got family members to help us. We did save a lot of money in the kitchen. We got kitchen cabinets for three hundred and fifty bucks. Um, they from came Menards. from Menards. They were a like a floor model set. Like, you know, when you walk through the stores, they have like the set up kitchens and stuff like that. So you can help people pick out what they want. That's what we got. So it came with um, most of the cabinets that we need. I think we only had to buy two extra cabinets, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we got kitchen cabinets, countertops that we sold that and the kitchen sink that it came with. And we didn't care about the color of the cabinets. We painted those. Yeah. Uh, separate so we got those cabinets we got cabinets countertop a kitchen sink a faucet and drawer pulls and everything for 350 bucks so um, we kind of stockpiled some material as well so yeah if you're going to buy a house that needs a lot of fixing up be looking for cheap you know or like free stuff i mean free stuff we, yeah, got, we, got, a free we stuff. got a lot of free stuff we got a garbage because he used this... to do custom home building and you know renovations and remodels and stuff they would take stuff home that was perfectly salvageable. Um, uh, the kitchen sink was given to us when we used. The garbage just pulled garbage that, was that kind of backfired on us. And yeah, it did go out like <laughs> two weeks into. Yeah, so we had to we had to replace that. But you know we had we had no money in it, so it's not like we lost anything. We bought all new kitchen appliances. We bought a package deal. Um, I would recommend getting them around Black Friday if you're gonna buy a package deal. You can get a contractor. Contractor package any time of the year. Basically, because you bought, we bought the package, we got the microwave for free essentially, and the delivery was free. From what I've heard, appliances packages are always cheaper on Black Friday, right? Yeah. Chris built a custom pantry around our refrigerator. Yeah, we didn't have to do that. That was just something like we it had been a weird empty space, and we needed the extra storage in the kitchen anyway. I said, hey, let's just build one. It cost me like two hundred dollars in material, mm -hmm. vinyl flooring. But you know that's on the cheaper end, probably a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, I think we spent two hundred and fifty on all. Well, we spent a little bit more than that because we have like a little foyer area we did, and we had to do stair nosing, and the stair nosing was really expensive. So it's like seventy five bucks for a, a six foot piece, and I needed like three or four of them. We were able to move stuff around to make the make everything feel bigger. We did lighter colors, which you know gives the appearance of the room being bigger. And we did a lot of lighting. Yep, That's and then shiplap backsplash, um, yeah. can light, recessed can lights in the ceiling. 
We did a little build in where this by, by the stove because we wanted somewhere to put some spices that were close, and it was a, there was a big empty cavity right there. So I said, "Hey, let's use it," and so we built a little built in there. The whole idea when the vision behind what we did was wanting to make this house functional for another family, and I knew that you know a younger family would probably be buying this home, and that's what we prayed for, and that's what we got. I would imagine if you could go back, would you not? make everything a different white. I love the color white we used, but. I think outside looking in, we had so much different white. Like the cabinets were a different color white. The trim was a different color white. And I know. All of the trim and the cabinets were the same color. I know that for cabinets, you need to have a, a different, you should have a different kind of paint and the trim should be like a more tougher paint, right? I understand all of the different colors and stuff, but. Just save yourself. My brother-in-law who helped us paint can agree just buy one color white. We had this, so there was ceiling white, which was a different color white. There's one white. There was the trim paint. Two white. And the cat paint, which is the same. It was it was a glass of milk. Okay. White. So it was. We were it was, on our second white. color white. And then we had a just a pure white uh, wall paint okay. that we used in the foyer, and that's it. There's not a fourth one. I just feel like there was a lot of whites. On our next house, we may just do one white. That's my advice. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> That's my advice. If you're flipping a house, you should just totally do one white. Oh yeah. Sure. One white. I don't think there's really anything else. Oh, for the shiplap, we bought shiplap. Like we had an extra 50 or 100 bucks to throw towards it. We did because I love shiplap, of course. You know, shiplap's like $5 board. Yeah. It's expensive, and so we just bought it, you know, as we go or as we were going along. I would say the kitchen cost us. With everything together, we had less than six thousand dollars in. So we we just saved it where we could. Any, anything where we could get something cheaper or free or whatever. Obviously, we use that. Mm -hmm. So if, that's like that's pretty dumb. I mean, you can spend that in cabinets, no problem. Yeah, for sure. If we were gonna pay someone to do that to our kitchen. How much would that cost? Uh, a lot more than that. <laughs> it, I mean, just for the labor, it'd have been probably ten or fifteen thousand, and then and plus, we have plus a small materials. Small kitchen. We have a very small kitchen. Yeah. Um. So, you know, ten, ten to fifteen thousand. That's like that's a lot of money to save. That's when we spent six grand. Yeah. We had a mentor of ours tell us if you can't double your money on whatever you're gonna do, don't do it. Mm -hmm. So if you know if we're if we can't couldn't put six thousand dollars in the kitchen and make twelve thousand on it, then don't do it. Yeah. Um, it just isn't worth it at that point. The kitchen, obviously, everybody wants a nice kitchen in their house. The bathroom is the two big cellars in a house. So if you have a really nice kitchen and a really nice bathroom, the flooring needs to be changed. It's something that's not that big of a deal. People have I mean, flooring changed all the time. You can watch on YouTube how to do click together flooring. Yeah. Yeah. So, or carpet or whatever. Yeah. So everything we did or the things that we didn't do, like I said, the basement, we weren't, we were not going to be able to make any money any more money off of the house by doing much to our basement because it's just yeah it was just clean it up it just clean it up we spent most of our money in the kitchen and in the bathroom and everything that we did we are able to double our money on and that that holds true for us so we're thankful for that advice that's it for the kitchen in the living room or the uh, dining room we did well we did put shiplap in our sunroom mm -hmm. and yep. that's all we did for the sunroom besides pull up the car the indoor outdoor carpet they had in there yeah because it's concrete floor. We just put some shit up on that back wall and put up a, um, a cute light fixture and that was it. Yep. So now it's, it's a cute place for people. It's a cute place to read the Bible or whatever, have coffee. So we've enjoyed that room. In the dining room. We painted, uh, we put up carpet a new, out. Yeah, tore, tore up the carpet, put up any light fixture. Put any light fixture and then when we pulled the carpet up, we pulled the carpet up in the living room as well. So all, so we did for both those rooms, all we did was tear the carpet up, do the floors, we sanded, I probably wouldn't do that over. I, if we yeah. bought another house, I'd probably never do that again. Myself, I might pay somebody to do it. It's an art and it's hard to do and make it look really good. It'd have been cheaper and probably look just as good with a different style of flooring in here. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that again. I would probably just do laminate flooring and be done with it. And the bathroom. Almost a complete gut. Yeah. Uh, again, we had a, um, a fiberglass like bath fitter shower unit. I cut the tub out. So I went up ahead and just gutted the bathroom while she was gone and was able to get the shower in, the shower unit plumbed in and like set the bathroom. and the toilet back in and the, and the uh, sink. So it was usable. 
But then, like, we kind of ran out of money. And we ran out of money at that point. <laughs> this was before we had the home equity oh loan. So then we ran out of money. And then we our bathroom sat hideous for, yeah, like... With studs <laughs> showing. <laughs> for, like, nine months. Yeah, it was a while. For the walls. The walls had, like, five or six years of... Or five or six different types of wallpaper. Yeah. So we ship left over that and painted all that, which that turned out really good. And then... Ways to save money on that was not getting a new sink. We kept the same mirror, just painted the outside, the medicine cabinet. We painted the wood around the medicine cabinet. I would say everything else was new. It's a new light fixture. Except for the light fixture. We bought the light fixture on sale. It was like a super yeah. sale. We bought the flooring on sale months before we, I think we did it. Yeah, we bought the flooring. The yeah, flooring sat in the garage for a long time. Almost a year, probably, uh, before we used that. So we did the ship lap, new shower unit. No electric, insulated the outside wall, just painted everything. We put another, it had a built in, but I took the built in out to get the shower unit exactly. in. Put another, it was actually an upper kitchen cabinet. I just set it on the ground and then put a countertop on top of it. Yeah. And then we did a couple open shelves above that. How much do you think that costs? The whole bathroom remodel? Yeah. Probably about $2,000 is what we had in it all together. If the toilet was 100 bucks. We didn't spend a whole lot of money there, $2,000, which we definitely made that back. So, two grand, it costs us. How much would you say it would cost a company to come do it? Anywhere from, I mean, it's kind of hard to say, anywhere from five to $10,000. Our master bedroom, all we did was paint and then we had carpet laid. The two bedrooms down here on the, on the first floor, we had carpet laid and then up the stairs and the upstairs, which is about 800 square feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that was like 300 bucks. How much did we spend? I can't why. It's like all these numbers. Yeah, it was, I think it was 800 bucks uh, to buy the carpet and have it. There was free installation, so. Chris could have done the carpet by himself. And carpet's one of those things like, it's cheap enough to have it somewhere else come and lay it. We went to Lowe's and we just ordered it through Lowe's. And we didn't use like the most fancy carpet either. You know, the most plush carpet. We used like a, a lower mid grade carpet. Yeah. In our upstairs, we we redid some drywall. Uh, when we when we bought this house, the upstairs was not a living space. It was just at one time it was they they I think a couple of high school kids did all the drywall and built that into like their bedroom. So there was no insulation was in no any of the walls. And so in the summertime, it was 150 degrees up there. In the wintertime, winter it's freezing. freezing. During the, when they got when we got inspected once we sold the house. They came back obviously for the insulation, so we had to insulate it, which we kind of knew that was going to happen. So we had that in, uh, the insulation blown in up there, and that was like twelve hundred bucks, I think. But what was really neat about that was that the company we had issues with people not calling us back. Like our fourth guy, and we wound up actually getting like a thousand dollars off through our gas company. The veteran, had, veteran had a rebate. If you're going to have insulation done, you should call a few companies and see if you're. See if they see if uh, the local gas company you have is offering something like that because or the local power company, whatever. Yeah, because it will help save in, on your bills, and so they're giving incentives for people to do to redo their insulation. So that cost us like two thousand dollars. And then we also did the uh, we did a new furnace in the house and central air. Yeah, it didn't have central air. It had a Boiler. poured water heat boiler system heat, which I actually uh, really like that. Heat. Yeah, which is awesome. Uh, and it's very efficient and but we wanted warm. we wanted ac for when branch got here did that for like four thousand dollars we got the cheap guy and the cheap guy's not always the best that was a big upgrade even though some things are really hillbilly from the way that he did that guy did it <laughs> the end result is we have central heat and air outside we painted yep we just painted the house and the garage i did a little bit of landscaping but not much so 23,000 is what we spent. There wasn't one room that we touched. Didn't touch. There wasn't one room. There wasn't one room that we didn't touch. Yeah, every room has some type of, of newness to it. I think I think what we did was worth it. I mean, after we pay our mortgage off, we have eight, we're making $80,000 on it. And so that just puts us even farther ahead. And this is not us coming from a place of pride. We're coming from a place of anyone can do this. I mean, Chris knows what he's doing when it comes to home remodeling and, you know, carpentry and all that kind of stuff, but 
you can figure out how to do anything really if oh, yeah. you want to do it yourself yep. and youtube videos are great dave ramsey says that you should invest in what you know and i think with this purchase Chris was 100% suitable to do everything that we needed. So I'm glad that the Lord put us here and I think that it was very intentional, even though it was very hard for me to accept it. If you don't necessarily know how to do everything, like, you know, you're looking at a house and it needs completely gutted. If you're willing to learn everything and do it yourself, then yeah, I think that would be awesome. Or I think maybe the average person buying a place that needs a facelift, just painting everything, maybe redoing the floors, maybe you know doing some basic landscaping, things like that can really help you sell your house. You don't have to necessarily buy one that needs to get gutted down to the studs. Mm -hmm. And that advice is not to be discouraging by any means. So we're selling it for $167,000 and we bought it for $73,000. Selling it for $94,000 more than what we originally bought it for, and that's for $23,000 worth of work. Yeah, we, that's pretty impressive. Well, it was here for four years. Stay tuned, move is soon. I don't know where we're gonna land. We're gonna go to his uncle's house and stay with him for a little while until we find, Chris finds a job, and then we'll purchase our own place. But we'll be debt free, so the money that we're making from the sale of our house is setting us up to become debt free. Yeah, that was the goal that's, that would have been all this to be debt free. You know, I guess not having the pressure to have to rush into anything. We can kind of take our time and find something that we like, find something that suits us and suits our family. And going to stay with his uncle for a few months gives us the opportunity to not feel rushed and really give us time to be diligent and just be smart with our purchase praying for the best anyway. If you guys have any questions about anything that we did, feel free to ask us questions, leave us a comment, we'll do the best that we can. This house certainly isn't perfect and there are a lot of things that we probably would have done different. Anyway, so I don't know what our next video will be like. Probably something of us moving. Yep, we're moving and packing our stuff up and then find a house. House hunting. Man hunting. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions. And I hope you guys will follow our journey from Ohio to Kentucky, debt-free, without a job, and without an actual house <laughs> of our own. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.